Hello, my name is Becca and I'm an educator at the Baltimore Museum of Industry. Welcome to our communications gallery. Here we explore the ways technology has changed how we receive information and communicate with one another. Even before electricity came to Baltimore, forms of communication like semaphore, a system using flags to send messages, were necessary to keep order in the city's busy harbor. Since the 1840s, electricity has transformed the way people communicate. In 1844, America's first electric telegraph line connected the Capitol in Washington to Baltimore's Mount Clair Station, a hub for the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. These telegraphs allowed people to communicate through Morse code, sending a series of long and short signals to write messages. Long-distance communication with sound didn't follow far behind. Baltimore's first telephone was installed in 1878, and in 1922, Baltimore got its first radio station. In addition to broadcasting, Baltimore became a major manufacturer of radios. In 1937, Bendix began to produce radios at a plant on Fort Avenue, just down the street from where our museum stands today. Baltimore's first TV station, WMAR-TV, launched in 1947 with a broadcast of two horse races at Pimlico Racetrack, and is still on the air today. Technology continues to evolve and change the way we are able to interact with one another. Smartphones, the internet, and even audio guides like this allow us to learn and communicate in ways people could not have imagined in the past.